This is one of several Harshaw History short videos I'll be posting and I hope you enjoy. Uh, the Harshaws of Cherokee County, North Carolina, specifically Murphy, North Carolina from where most of my family originated. Uh, all the Harshaws, African American Harshaws, 90% came out of North Carolina because Abram Harshaw was the biggest slave owner in North Carolina and this is one of his sons Joshua Harshaw in Murphy the plantation that my ancestors were on and this was the last of that slave owning family with Abram McDowell Harshaw, Mercer Fane and Abram Suddeth. This is the slave list of John Harshaw after he died and on that list is my maternal great-grandmother Indiana Harshaw and my paternal great-grandmother Mary Ann Harshaw. Uh, also included is Harry and they were married early in 1846 and that was their children. One of their children, David, uh, along with a host of other relative Harshaw relatives, went to 200 and almost 300 miles from North Carolina to Shelbyville, Tennessee to join up in the Union Army and that was a petition signed by his mother to get his pension when he died. Uh, my daughter April and I were in Washington when we celebrated uh, the whole day of celebrating the 180,000 African Americans that served in the Civil War. Uh, most of those Harshaws were spelled Horshaw. On the front of our t-shirts is a black drummer and a young lady in the Civil War and on the back all the names that are Harshaws in the Civil War. Uh, this is Frederick Douglass's great-grandson on the right and the celebration with the colored soldiers troops on horseback uh, reenactors coming through in the parade. Uh, the young ladies dressed up in period time uh, costumes and came through marching beautifully down the street. Others dressed up in U.S. colored troops uniforms and what the ladies would have worn in that period and came out as long as well as uh, young kids who uh, joined us for the celebration and undoubtedly it was a great day. This was the Indian horse soldiers and the other U.S. colored troops horse soldiers that were a part of that great celebration. And we unveiled the United Colored Troops Memorial there in the Shaw District of Washington, D.C. And around the base of that monument is carved the names of all the 180,000 uh, African Americans that served in the Civil War, including all of my ancestors. Uh, my daughter April and I were happy to index that list to make sure our ancestors were included on that memorial. Here you see the Harshaw Plantation which is on the historical register in Murphy, North Carolina and still stands today. Uh, my sister Marjorie and my Uncle James visited with me at one time and we toured the old plantation house and one of the slave quarters that was still there. It's a little ironic and a little eerie to uh, see the Harshaw Cemetery with all the Harshaw names on tombstones, even one uh, with John Harshaw, and they were buried in a very beautiful, bricked-in uh, cemetery place. On the other hand, the Harshaw Slave Cemetery was just a place that just had a lot of rocks that marked graves of over a hundred slaves buried there. Uh, families from Knoxville, Tennessee and Cincinnati, Ohio uh, took a trip to the plantation, as well as my sister, uncle, aunt, cousins uh, visited on, on another occasion. The only tombstone that was there in the slave cemetery, ironically, was my grandmother, Lula Mae Simpson Harshaw's grandmother. I visited um, the grave of George H. Harshaw, uh, my great-grandfather, as he moved to L.J., Georgia. He met up with Georgiana Withrow, who was the daughter of Dempsey and Julia Withrow, living in L.J., Georgia. This is young Georgiana, 
and you can see her Cherokee features uh, or as she said Zalagi because she never liked you to use the word Cherokee after her mother died Dempsey remarried and married Emmeline Harper and they had another with her family uh, Georgiana moved here to Cincinnati years later and to Columbus for a while and died here in Cincinnati George H. had his own set of family. He was a twin, and he had two sets of twins. Here was Jane, uh, and Jane was a beautiful lady. You can see those Indian features in her face, and I don't know why she was standing in the creek in L.J. This is Aunt Mag, who came here to Cincinnati, and she actually raised Wesley Moses Harshaw out in Madisonville, and was always a good, good, uh, cousin. Uh, here's Aunt Belle down in Knoxville, Tennessee with some other members of the family. And my namesake, John Henry Harshaw and one of his wives, Belle Green. John was a minister at uh, Piney Grove Church in Elegy, Georgia, which was built by the family. On the left is my grandmother, Lula Simpson, middle of my grandfather. Both of them raised me and, and his mother, Georgiana, on the right. This is their family. That Most of them were born here in Cincinnati. My father was born in Knoxville, Tennessee. Uh, that's my father on the left, Sherman, and his brother Charlie on the right. Unfortunately, Charlie was killed in a uh, fight when he was a young man. My dad was a sharp dresser, great fisherman, uh, good athlete, and spent a lot of time uh, fishing up and down in Ohio, Florida, and other places. Uh, this is my uncle James Harshell Far Right, uh, lead singer at that time for Leroy and the Drivers, and he was also lead singer for another group here in Cincinnati. And here with the love of his life forever, <laughs> uh, Marion Sis Harshell. This is him again on the left, and everybody thought with the long hair was a girl, but that's James and his sister Georgiana on the right. My Georgiana uh, taught me to read uh, before I went to school, so when I got to elementary school, I was ahead of most of my class. Here she is again as a young lady, always beautiful, and aspired to be a teacher one day, and I guess I was her test pupil and I think I spelled out to be a good pupil. That's the short one for today. Hope you enjoyed. There'll be more.